All right, guys, we're back. We are back. Ready for rocking and a rolling. Rocking, rocking and a rolling. All right, so you see we got our corners cut out here. We have these pieces will be going up in an upward direction. All of these two pieces here will be going, uh, these will be completely buried. One of those will be kind of sort of exposed. And our corners are basically going to look like this, uh, minus this piece. Basically, we're going to be looking at this. Okay. And end result will look something like this. Nice little spot for all the critters to grow. Have a nice little happy home, and it makes it kind of strong. Kind of, sort of. All right. So basically what we're looking at, our end result, I'm gonna focus this, sorry about that everybody. Uh, basically we're going to look at something like, basically, ex not exactly the scale of course, but something along the lines of, of this. And maybe I might put another one in here. Another one in here. There we go, sorry about that. All right, so basically, that this piece will be completely buried. This piece will be roughly just visible at the dirt line. This is basically the roof line. And then these are all the supports. And then this whole thing will be completely wrapped in this stuff. Um, if I don't wrap it, then I'll do like this. Oops, let me focus. I'll do like this how I did last time. Literally, I had a handful of staples and just hammered them in each one. I did it th that way this for this door particularly, but um, as you see, to repeat it, Well, this is, so this is my old Honda palette, C-H-O-N-D-A, somewhere in here, I think it says Honda right here, anyways, so, as you see, it's wrapped around it, right, it goes all the way around, um, so that way I have one on the outside, some 2 by 4s and then another on the inside, what has happened over time is, even though it's galvanized, it's rotted out. So, I know it's not going to last forever, but being that it's all pokey right here, it kind of keeps the chickens in and chickens out and critters in and critters out. As you see on the other side, it's also torn, torn away from its original its original mounting point but here on the edge I stapled it one by one by one by one by one by one all the way all the way down and use some whole old kitchen stuff household uh, door stuff kitchen handles little drawer door pull whatever you call those things handles anyways so getting back to project at hand Oh, waiting on the parts for this still. I have half of them. The other half I'm still waiting on the thermostat gasket, which is crazy. And then also I am waiting on the MAF sensor. Manifold. Basically manifold, blah, 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 absolute. Whatever you want to call it. So... Yeah, fun. Should be getting that tomorrow. And then also the parts for the truck. Fun. Yay. Alright guys. It's getting late. Gotta get to bed. You guys take care. Oh, and I put that up a while back. Oh yeah. Crazy, right? Eventually I'll take all that down. Adjust it. Change it up. Alright, take care. Have a wonderful evening everybody. Be safe.
I'm out. Tony Tabachano, signing off for the night.